How do we end up in Smite? No. We Three. Save. Dummies. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm kind of down stream times though. I that's it. I kind of want to get affiliate. And I'm kind of just pushing to. <laughs> well, it was like. The streaming as much as I did was fun. Oh, wait. No, I'm talking. <laughs> like, before reaching 50, and so, like, the only threshold is concurrent. It's fine to, like, I don't know. It's fine to, um, uh, 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 stream as much as I did, and it's like... Like, after affiliate, it's fine too. Especially since, you know, you don't really get that large concurrent until, like, people don't show up. Until, like, I don't know. Sorry, get that. It was clear. From my notice. Never mind, I'm not good that way. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. I'm. Last. Just do the typical. <laughs> no, never mind. Man, I'm sorry, going. <laughs> Clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and You know, what's the point of this scene? Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have God failed damn, you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past. Is that really just like a cutscene explaining like what the fuck was happening with Novigrad? Because... I don't know. 
Oh, don't look at that. Um. What's that bar? If you, I don't know. What's that enemy upscaling me? Sure. I think I'll replay the game, but I'll do that on my own. I ain't pretty sure you that. Anyway, I'm wasting time. I only plan to do like streams for like the three hours. They took my glass. Where's my glasses? What the fuck? Oh, there it is. Change your toes. Be, 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 be. No. It will not. Um. You think quite does good. All right, cool. Ah, um, wait. What are we doing? Quest. I mean, oh, fuck, we have so many side quests. When do I pick up all these side quests? What the fuck? Yeah, you know let's have a Witcher quest. Witcher contract. Oh yeah, I hate this place. Um, that's where we left off. World map. Is there really not a thing for here? No, oh, go in and grab a dare quest. Then, bang your infestation. They're taking the <laughs> wine part of <laughs> blood and wine. <laughs> Real seriously. You're just a house. Uh, bit, 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 bit. Oh, keep going. It's fine. I think we're passing the thing. 
Will you come please? Fuck. Um, Theron. Go to the village. Let's go... Sam... What's out there? No idea. I want to set. Oh, wait. Yay. Go, go. Right here now. Huzzah! You know, how... Sure, just bring it, take everything. Easier. Where's the thing? Nothing to see here. Move along. Be gone from my sight. And there's just guardsmen. Where's the same post? So I can fast travel. Um, it's down there. Hey, armor. I don't know why the fuck you're up at like. Eh? What's that? Uh, show me your wares. Mind showing me your wares? I'll just repair everything. So long. Darn girl. Oh wait, do I have stuff to sell? Uh, not really. Uh, I probably could sell all this stuff. Because I'm probably not using this. I guess the enemy upscaling is more for, like, main campaign. Show me your wares. Mind showing me your wares? Really, I'm just selling you. What? Well, okay, I'm selling you, like maybe a sword. This doesn't scale, though. Live from the bits always scales. Unlike one thing. God, the flip. Uh -huh. Oh, order it. Wait, no. I can't sell anything else, so. Well, I can sell this. Farewell. So long. Um, alright. Also, what quest did I pick up? No witch request. Or contracts. They're all witch requests! Yeah. Did I? Did I? Oh.
Well, okay. Oh, there you are, Roach. I didn't see you. I need a fresh set of shoes for my mouth. Promptly at your service. Let's go. There we go. Oh, cool. Let's go get hit. I didn't get hit. Never mind. When does windmills or a dragon, right? What do you mean? Faster. Whoa there, bro. What do you mean? Oh, turn around. Okay, okay. Rerouting. What the fuck is this? Aww. Eh, just go. Whatever. It's fine. All is good. Hey, over here, me. Draft horse will talk without some carrot to move. Heard you calling. Wanted to talk? I did. For we're neck deep in trouble. Of the spider kind. Need a maid with a broom, not a witcher. You fail to understand. These are huge. The size of pigs or dogs. Black, mm -hmm. hairy, spewing webs. Mm -hmm. Not talking about spiders then. Talking about arachnomorphs. Call them what you will. You must smash the rogues, will you? Those caves would be prime barrel storage were it not for the beasts. Hey, uh, Mepe, let's talk. First things first. Need to talk about my reward. Bro, you saw what? Okay. Not far now, we find ourselves a hair from agreeing. A hair? When I I knew we would agree terms. All right. Let's figure it out. Don't look much like bunnies, but they sure breed like them. Best nip the problem in the bud. I'll look into it. Uh, I'm sweat dripping you make down mountains out of molehills, Bill. It'll be better than fine. I must be. Here, meditate for a second. An hour. You know, all of Hi. Hey, mate. Works hard on the nerves, eh? That's why you're so great. Oh, well. Eh. Come on. Jesus. These things hurt. That's my most recent save.
What? How long after talking to the guy? Or after resting for a second? Nah, just reach it. Fuck. Man! Why is she screaming at 3 a.m.? Let's take this way. And then just dish the path, apparently. Oh, it's just wolves. Not oh, F it. Alright. First things first. Yeah, can I say two hundred again? Not far now. We find us. Okay. I knew we would agree terms. Yo, know, I got five more gold. Arachnomorphs don't look much like bunnies, but they sure breed like them. Arachnomorphs. Save. Okay, glossary, bestiary. I assume they fall in. All right. Wait, Axie. Axie and Ard. The similar thing could gain ground in our land concerning Rectomorphs and everything I will feel like I'm being True, the tillers of the earth and flowers of the trees need not fear them. Their daily labor is for...
You know, can you make it insectoid? I don't even think I have it. Wait, I'm dumb. Well, no, I don't even have it. It goes straight from E to N. Well, I can go ahead and make that. That seems like a smart thing. Though. I almost had everything. What are these? Oh, that's what I need. I need... Get some alcohol. So confused. It was like hang bands or <laughs> venom. It's just like what? Not sure. Sure. These are all handy, I guess, in the long run. I don't know why I don't make them. Why don't the quest potions go away? I'm so missing so much. I already got white gold. That's amazing. Our alcohol, let's make that alcohol. Grants immunity plays on different effect. Uh, eh, whatever. Anyway, Nancy. <laughs> That's how I was supposed to do it, right? Wait, so I didn't have enough for uh, these. 
No, I mentioned it. I don't have insectoid oil. I don't have a uh, recipe. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. Oh god, they're so big. Jesus. How do we go this way? All leaves the same. Yeah, listen to the skittering game. Also, it's so dark in here. It's so hard to... Especially take on multiple. I okay. Two coin case. Oh, all right. Bro, I need to get separate. That's just the baby. What? Lost your nerve? Ow.
can't see. Also, I need it when it comes to me. Jesus. Hate these things. I just still say they're like, uh, two bodies. A ceiling if it's just a bunch of old stuff, right? Blue armor die. I don't need that stuff. But sure. Is there anything else? Nope. Daytime. Oh, let's say time too. I do what they pay me to do. Sub his rank. Oh. Oh. Is the quest just done? Hold on. No, I gotta get paid. Defeat Colossus in a fist fight. You! Where are you? Oh, you're sitting at the cave. Okay, my bad. Any tidings? All taken care of. Went inside and cleaned up. Thank the gods! And you too, of course. Yo. <laughs> Ugh. Was looking to buy something, maybe sell something too. Wait, I can't buy from you. Potions. Ugh. Are these all rune sounds? You can change mutagen colors. Why? Sure. And then sure. Uh, 
Uh, superior devils football. Hey, do you have insectoid? Because that's why I'm missing. I think I have like everything of the base stuff and I'm just missing insectoid. It's fucked up. I got white gold. I don't know what I need. Uh, okay. What else? I, I... Wait a second. Um, superior swallow. Do you have the ingredients for this? That's crow's eye. Where did I get crow's eye? I don't know. Farewell. Time I got back on the path. So long. The fuck? Is it getting truck? Yeah, it's a controller. What? <laughs> Treasure hunt. You! No! But. You! Where are you? Right here. Lads, I find your concern touching. I do. Yet I've long awaited this day. So, you must forgive me, but I shall go through with it as planned. Ah! It seems my guide has arrived. Guide? Greetings to you, White Wolf. Uh, I presume you saw my notice? <laughs> Foolish question. You're here, thus you must have seen it. I was just passing through. Forgive me, I should introduce myself. Count Belladal, a great admirer of your deeds. Thanks. Not something we witchers hear often. But Count, sir, do you mean to go off with just this witcher? A right hardy fellow he is, no ponce, I'm sure. But your expedition's too risky on the whole. And not taking us with you, pardon my saying it, right daft. You exaggerate, Vilma. I believe I can manage to survive half a day without someone there to wipe me ass in my stead. My guards lament, Witcher, but you must forgive them. Now, to get down to brass tacks, as you've no doubt gleaned from the notice, I've a rather extraordinary proposition for you. Mm -hmm. I'm a lover, Witcher, of nature. <laughs> a devotee of the wild. And Toussaint is home to several species not encountered elsewhere. I'd like you to accompany me on an expedition whose aim is to uh, preserve them. <clears throat> ah, yes. Uh, naturally, you'll protect me should the need arise. My ever vigilant guards, see, will report any reckless behavior to my wife if I get so much as a scratch. And then war will be me. Uh. Who are you? Count Belladon? Famous poultry farmer, is that it? Uh, <laughs> well, that was my grandpapa, dear man. But my trade is the wine trade. I import the finest vintages to Kavir, my homeland. The very reason for my frequent visits to Beauclair, uh, during which I like to uh, partake of nature, let us say. 
Really need a witcher to, uh, partake? Got guards of your own. Take them, save some coin. I could, surely. But they too deserve a bit of rest, relaxation. Right, lads? <laughs> Besides, I've plenty of coin. Coin that needs spending. Uh -huh. uh, stop me. Ah, so this is about a rich man, bored stiff, seeking thrills. There's also Clarissa who... Vilma, please. Who huh? what? Uh, my daughter. I always return from my travels with some souvenir or another. She looks forward to them tremendously. <laughs> uh -huh. We did not meet to chat about my family. We must discuss our venture, must we not? All right. Need some details before I can say anything. Where are we going? What am I supposed to do exactly? In the roundest terms, we shall admire the local flora and fauna. And while we do, I might preserve a thing or two. Preserve? Of this device, see? Uh, a parastisomac. It, uh, it captures, uh, likenesses. A parasesta what? It's like a movable megascope. Capturing moments, transforming them into illusions, based upon which I then paint a painting. So, you want me with you, looking at animals and flowers and... Well, that's more or less what it amounts to, yes. Uh, except you will first have to track down the creatures I wish to capture. I know only the very approximate locations of their habitats. Well, and uh, should any trouble arise, we'll have your sword at the ready, right? So, agreed. My pay. Pretty unusual contract. I couldn't agree more. Yes. And I'm prepared to pay a commensurately high fee. Don't mind if we actually talk about exactly how high that'll be first, do you? Why ever would I? Please, simply tell me how much you wish to receive. Come on, me. Sublime. We have a deal. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll take the drop. Doesn't seem hard. Be glad to do something pleasant for a change. Sublime. In that case, here's your map. Before coming here, I dispatched requests to several local hunters. They located the habitats of the species of interest to me and marked out their ranges on the map. Good. Uh -huh. It'll save us some time. Won't need to track. Ready to go? Yes, let's. The light seems perfect just now. Stonks. I oh. <laughs> Okay, I got that it was like we're taking pictures, but I didn't think that was hmm. That's a high wood. Coffee. I I forget. Damn it. <laughs> Alright. Man, why did I I made a mistake. I have Starburst. And Starburst will kind of chewing. And that means I can't. <laughs> it's hard to talk to me if you're chewing. <laughs> um. No, they're delicious. <laughs> Wait, that here. This is the thing. Is that his map? This whole map of the thing. Where's your map, dude? It's right to here. You're good. I man. What is this quest? Hmm. 
Um, okay. And then compare that to my actual map. It looks like... Oh no. <laughs> what? You <laughs> did Is beats just for a rainmaker? <sighs> Over here somewhere? Question mark. Okay, we're in the map. Uh oh, the map's down there now. Yeah. Why'd they make things difficult? Why don't I actually got to figure this out? Seems I got the map, so I'll lead. Oh, I just had to check it. Uh, <laughs> I hate this kind of I feel so dumb. To admire the wildlife. It just won me a check for a second. Kill it in a bit of misguided fear for my life. What if the wildlife attacks Here us? No. I have no other recourse. I do not wish to be something super. You, but as long as they remain calm, there's no need to report them. The utmost importance to me. You know. Now I forgot what I just said. I don't even know. <laughs> okay, talking about this. Uh... Map says there should be panthers around here. Stay close. Keep your eyes peeled. But one request, Witcher. Avoid bloodshed if at all possible. <sighs> Heard something. Grunting, panting. Something like a bear. Least bit eager to come face to mug with a bear. We should move on. Um, uh, can you sneak past the bear? Is it sleeping? Uh, uh, tree, let me pass. Senses are far more acute than mine. I must rely on them. They're right there. Take your pictures. The Carolina Panthers. Bro, how close do you want to get? Bro. We are very close. Damn poachers. Snares. Looks like they were hoping for a bear. Panther got caught instead. <gasps> Will you help the mother? Give it a shot. Gotta calm her first. Likely to lunge at us otherwise. Oh, wait. Uh, Axing. Huh. Don't call witches heartless. 
This will put the light to that. Oh my! I, I failed to warn you. I fuck. Aristocimac has an added lantern. You must look away or it'll blind you. Aristocimac upset the animals. Better get out of here. Another boy coaching. Come this way. Got pretty broad interests for a man of the city. I suppose I double in my share of things. Wine, nature, painting. I imagine the life of a witcher must be rather more monotonous. With all the... Why are you also trying it to take is. a picture of? Never boring, though. Uh, I, for one, cannot fathom only ever consorting with the same creatures day in and day out. Got a wife? Yes. Wait, giant centipedes! Nothing. Just asking. Hmm. I learned how to read, but at what cost? Shh. Hear him. It's those uh... centipedes, giant underground tunnel burrowers. Make a distinct sound. We can use that to track them. <laughs> Follow the sound. I'd rather I didn't, but I love how this is how I learned that there are giant sand feats in the game too. It wasn't enough with the spiders. Like, I don't have arachnophobia, but, like, they're still, like, ill. Sounds loud and clear here. Must be near the nest. We're here. Well, uh, this vantage point's no good. We shan't capture a good image from here. All right, wait. We'll find you a better spot that's safe, too. Tread lightly. Giant centipede sends the softest sounds, the lightest vibrations. You wake one up, it wakes up angry. How about right here? Sir? How about here? I don't know. Isn't it a bit close? Right. We'll find another spot. Right up here. Seems like a safe spot. Safe, perhaps. But it offers no view whatsoever. Hmm. Fine. We'll keep looking. Look, just stand in front. <sighs> oh, I ran. I can't tell if me walking does anything or not. Here, maybe. Distance seems right. Light's not bad either. Yes, this will work perfectly. Come on, man. Can you lure them out? Give me a minute. Need to think. Vibrations. Gotta send some through the ground. I'll try tossing a bomb or casting a sign. And you watch out. Don't get any closer. Um, do I got bombs? Will that work? An excellent day for capturing moments. Fire in the hole. I feel like they get angry. Positively no? exhilarating. Thank you. I've one more request. 
Local peacocks performing their mating ritual. I'd love to see that. Apparently, a flock dwells not far from here. We can go. Just don't count on <laughs> them while they mate. Season ended a month back. Oh, that's terrible. I so wish to capture their splendorous tails in full bloom. Is there nothing uh -huh. to do if they prove uneager to present? Perhaps challenge them somehow? Goad them? What did you have in mind? Don't have a tail myself, and I'm not likely to sprout one anytime soon. My thoughts were more along the lines of Witcher magic. They say you can exert influence over lesser creatures. Uh, uh, what are you asking of me? Try. Can't promise you anything, though. Splendid. Consider me contented. Uh, I cannot pinpoint the flock's location, but Sir. the hunter I know told me a few likely spots. I'll mark them for you. All right. Let's go find some peacocks. Okay. Eh. I was wondering why peacocks. My, my daughter is rather fond of them. There will be a treat for her. And before these uh, peacocks are monstrous and goddamn We're witcher. Close. Eyes in the back of your head. I sound like cats. I don't see nothing here. All right. Uh, I'm trying to find tracks. A feather from the rump, coated in suet. Cock shed it recently, and the suet's got a distinct scent. Ought to be able to track the flock. Witcher in action. What a treat to watch. What are these fires do we? Follow your nose. Hear Wait. that? They're calling to each other. These are red. Oh, that's lovely. Now, they could just splay the tails. See what I can do. Find a good spot. Ready! Use your magic, Witcher! Uh do I have a clip? Yeah, I do. Oh, what are you doing? oh no, that is not what was equipped. <laughs> I threw it. Load. Let's have a checkpoint, please. I fucked up. <laughs> I bombed the peacocks. Oh, that's lovely. Now, if they could just splay the tails. See what I can do. Find a good spot. Ready! Use your magic, Witcher! Wait, no! How to fuck? No. Yeah, I know, I know. Why do I keep on going? Oh, it's just right trigger. It's not the bumper. Bumper. Bump. Oh, All right. I promise I won't bomb the peacocks. See what I can do. Find a good spot. Ready? Use your magic, Witcher. Oh, 
I'll be a masterpiece. Smile, please. Oh, when you wake up. Damn it. Where did they come from? Must have followed us. Get back. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that would be a whole lot there we go. Ow. I ain't too worried. Why are you taking pictures still? Full of excitement for today. Uh huh. What a wonderful adventure! Get everything you wanted. Yes. In that case, time to get back to your camp. Fought vampire action. Not dealing with vampires yet. <laughs> Returning your lord to you. All right, like, not today. You've our gratitude, master. You see, lads, there was nothing to fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our day count. Seems the jaunt did him wonders. Breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Pay my dues. Here, new life sometime. I don't know. New life? He was feeling down? Made no mention, did he? Ten years back, his last Clarissa is her name. He took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. He cannot walk of her own. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Oh. Can't we off take her out on trips. She loved animals too. Excursions he makes now. Or rather, paintings he brings home. There's her only window on the wider world. Oh. Sorry to make you wait. I was dead chuffed to be able to observe you in action. To confirm for myself there that the tales about you were not exaggerated in the slightest. You show discipline, reliability. We don't talk about the timelines where I bombed the peacocks twice. That's <laughs> a shame you've no interest in the wine trade. One day, maybe. Your reward. Use it well. Thanks. I have one other matter I wish to broach. In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for some friends, my coterie, so to speak. Would you come by? Uh, sure, why not? Why not, if I'm in the area? Splendid. In that case, I shall see you at my lodgings. I'm staying with a friend while in Tucson, near a village named Frankelar. I'll be by. See ya. I think I went to that village. <gasps> um... Wait till noon tomorrow and go to the picnic. They? I don't know. I'm getting confused. I heard a noise. I think I heard a noise. I was talking. <gasps> On quest! Uh. You know what? Sure. Does this place not have... Why don't you have the same boost? Oh, you do. My bad.
Meow. Can we just wait till noon? centipedes are formidable predators. The bees prefer to hunt in packs, yet the author of this extraordinary work was able to capture a lone specimen preparing to attack. Cast your eye on the hunter, who, though fully aware of the danger, wears a look of cold determination on his face as he awaits the optimal moment to strike. <clears throat> ah, Geralt, you're here. Wonderful. Come, please. I'm delighted to see you. I have a small gift for you, and I shan't let you refuse. Huh? Thanks. I got a painting. Hey. You're there. How's she doing? Talked to your guards back at the camp. Told me about Clarissa. Sorry to hear about her accident. Thank you. Kind words that mean a great deal to me. How's Clarissa these days? Probably can't wait for you to get back. <laughs> to get her gifts, you mean? I've dispatched two already. She'll not need to wait for my return. En route home, I mean to pass through Dol Blathana. They say one can see Sylvan's there. Yeah, the fuck I actually happen to know one. Name's Torque. He can be mean. But for the right fee, he'll do anything you ask. Splendid. I'll thank you for the hint. Tell him I send my regards. Things have go whale. Good crowd. You got a lot of friends. All of them seem to be fawning over your paintings, too. Oh, when you have as much coin as I do, friends buzz around like flies on fresh meat. And they praise you to high heavens for each trip, burp, and sneeze. Not all are lying sycophants, that's not what I mean. Just most, unfortunately. Why bother? Why even invite them around? I'm a man of enterprise. I must put my trade before any personal hatreds or sympathies. Besides... Uh, Besides? At times, I'll exhibit a completely failed painting. Just to listen to them twist their tongues into knots, trying to find just the right superlatives to lather on smeared rubbish. Naturally, the more intent someone is to get into my good graces, the louder they praise my masterpiece. It's devilish fun, I tell you. Oh. Well, I gotta be gone. So. Nice meeting you. So long now. Where go, where go? I far knows worst. Uh oh.
There's some main quest here. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Here, let's do some story. So... How the same pie function actually applies to um, the thing. Oh, it's not actually. Fire Sign Village. Okay, yeah, that's the other thing. Oh, I got walk anyway. There you are, Roach. I didn't see you. Faster. No, thank you. Okay, now go. your lucky day. God, fuck. Wait, what's the fog lit museum? Like, specifically fog lit? I don't know. I got a few. What do these really mean? 
Are they all blue? I see, I see. More foglet, yeah. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? There we go. Wait. Right now. Right. More foglet. God damn. Fuck. Can you just go past the old guests? Never a good omen. Uh, I'm sorry, much. Parties. Go south. Mm -hmm. 
Everybody's clearly obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. The pigsty. Need to search it thoroughly. Find a way to collect some white saliva. I feel like touching the springs is a bad idea. We can do those and experience things really, 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 things that's not going away. It's all being herbalist, seeing a monster, Christmas. Spoon you have shall say to you. Whatever lives here treated that literally, still searching for the right spoon. Sophisticated crafting. Tag bears a description. White's a true collector. The surface item of her option, but oh. Skeletons. Doubt they came here willingly. This have anything to do with the curse? None shall sit and dine with you at your table. Did it make sense? Broken neck, indentation in the skull's lateral surface. Smacked in the head with something heavy. No claw or fang marks. Probably choked to death. Right arm bit right off. Teeth oh. all knocked out. Somebody tried to force feed him. The muscle. Basio. Are you trying to cut us for pay? Would be a bit. It turns out my suffering is not following her. This piggy is the very cool. Splint. Woman's name scratched into this wooden spoon. Romantic. Hmm. That's where I came from. We go down here. I'll sell a return my sword. My flood. Obsessed, a real collector, thoroughbred. Not on spoon. 
Hmm. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. It's been right here. Spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. Cauldron I was looking for. Why it's not particularly tidy. Table set. White who lives here is getting ready for some sort of feast. White that lives here, definitely afflicted by a curse, and it's been trying desperately to lift it. White's obsessed, a real collector, thoroughbred. Colvin's empty, unfortunately. We just need some brew. I'm afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron. The thing. Hide here. Okay, what's the white look like? Honestly. might cheat if I uh, make actual decisions. I'm a cheat. I don't. I'm dumb. Spoon quest. <laughs> uh. Hold on. Here, take it. Which are spoon? Oh. Hold on.
select to eat while it's swimming in the log option to promptly. Okay. Right. Need to get this right. Words of the curse were None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Yeah, let's not eat it. Let's eat that using spoon. Now try. The end of. Open your eyes. You need to see your likeness. Oh. Holy shit. Carol, you okay? Oh, we're at half toxicity. Think it worked. Just not quite like I expected. Need to see what happened to the white. Won't be hard to find given its stench. Holy shit. That's a lot of spoons. Did she go to her room? No. She left. Where'd she go? Hey, Inspector. Oh, white. You know, I was worried for a second. I shouldn't have double checked necessarily. But. Yeah. Oh, they're kind of like the ones that people know. No, no. I think uh, Oh Come on, come closer. Oh. Oh, 
Can you afford? Yes, I'm cool. I'll take you someplace safe. Am I actually carrying you? No, cutscene. I haven't ever carried anyone in this game. Probably not happening now. So I took her by the hand and led her here. Seemed the only sensible place for her. You did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. I'm deeply pleased, finally, to make your acquaintance, sir. Though I do regret the specific circumstances. In all the commotion, I fear I neglected to introduce myself. I'm Barnabas Basilfolti, and by order of the Duchess, I am to serve as your major domo at Corfo Bianco. Nice to meet you, Barnabas Basil. Love to talk more, but got urgent matters to attend to. While I'm gone, please make sure she gets everything she needs. Don't worry, sir. I shall see to everything. She is safe here and in good hands. She'll soon be back on her feet. Might actually take a while. She hadn't eaten anything in over a hundred years when I found her. Horrid. Whatever brought this about? Uh, I don't know. Told me her story on the way here. Her name's Marlena. She was once the very beautiful and proud heiress to the Trastamara estate. One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. He sat outside her fence and waited. I've heard of the custom. An ancient rite of hospitality that obliges one to give food and drink to such a guest lest he depart hungry. To neglect the custom is to bring great misfortune down upon oneself. Marlena didn't care a whit for the old customs. She drove the man off, saying she'd rather feed the leftovers from her feast to her dogs than to give the beggar anything. The beggar then broke his spoon and I mean. cast a curse. She was beautiful, so he said she'd never wish to look at herself in the mirror again. Since she adored feasts, he swore no one would ever wish to sit and dine with her. And as she even refused him the crumbs from her table, he swore she'd never find a spoon in the world that would sate her hunger. A harsh punishment. I imagine lifting the curse was hardly simple. Uh, did something here. I the curses are tricky. They play on irony. Always gotta figure out what the catch is. Marlena had spent decades looking for a way to lift it. Transformed into a white, she stole spoons and lured folk into her home, trying each time to get. She the had a cold her. goddamn basement filled with them. So what did? Someone had to sit down and share a meal with her, of their own free will. They had to eat without using spoons and make her look at her reflection. That's it. That was all it required? The simplest solutions are sometimes the last that come to mind. Besides, when you're a white, it's pretty damn hard to find willing human company for a feast. I imagine so. But, most importantly, it is now over. Please, don't worry. She will be in good hands here. Mm. Sure. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron? Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclair went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once e. retired, he settled uh -huh. here and took to producing wine. Sadly, 
misfortune struck, and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. <laughs> he made even more of it. Began <coughs> throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far yeah. and wide. I threw up a little in my mouth. Them to his wine and I'm already in my throat. And at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bowles. So long. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. This is my house. Where's my uh, postage? Where's the thing to my house? There it is. Oh. Seems like I need to do repairs on my house. It's slightly ratty. Is that? Hey. Report back. Oh, Regis is up here. Who wants to be a millionaire? Think your friend's hand will make for a nice broth? Hmm. You've clearly honed your sense of humor, but we are not cannibals, Geralt. I took a fragment of tissue from the hand. It will suffice to prepare some resonance. What did you do with the rest? Sorry. I cremated it, as our codex commands. A raven told me you'd acquired the necessary ingredient. Oh, creatures, ravens. Pretty helpful creatures. Call on them often. I try not to overdo it, but they can be so useful. As they were now, when I merely needed to be sure I could arrive in time should things go sour. Managed to find a loan, but thanks for the thought. Gonna need much longer to finish brewing resonance? Mentioned a last ingredient, too. What about that? That, I fear, might prove troublesome. You see, to use the concoction to summon the memories of one, the solution must contain the blood of another specimen of the same species. Shouldn't be a problem. I happen to know a higher vampire who should be willing to help, right, Regis? It's not that simple, I'm afraid. While you were away, I tried my damnedest to identify a replacement, but, alas, right. none such exists. Not sure I okay. understand what the problem is. Can't we just draw some of your blood? The blood must be in an agitated state. As I'm certain you know, higher vampires can change their corporeal shell. As our yeah. flesh changes, so does our blood's chemical composition. To make a long story short, I shall need to induce in myself a state of strong psychokinetic arousal. In brief, madness, rabidity. And that stands to be very, very dangerous. I am just All right, so what do you want to do? We shall visit Tesha Mudna, an ancient vampire estate. There, we will find cages suspended in the air. I will enter one, be confined. You will lure beasts there. Beasts you will then kill. The bloodletting should prove profuse. Abundant enough so that the blood scent will drive me mad. Wild. What? This place, tell me more. Tesha Mudna. What's it like? It is a place of torment. A torture chamber. Long ago, shortly after we'd arrived in this world, one among us named Kaudmar developed such a taste and lust for human blood that in one night he could imbibe an entire village. This brought trouble on the entire species. Common folk wearied quickly of living in constant fear. They began to hunt us, seek the aid of mages and witches in tracking us down. So what? Not like they could ever hope to kill you. But they were bothersome. Forgive the comparison, but when did you last enjoy mosquitoes buzzing around your head? 
In any case, the other vampires decided something had to be done. Kagmar had to be caught and punished. A torture chamber was thus outfitted in the dungeons of Teshemutna. Inside it, a cage made entirely of a special alloy of silver, dalvinite, and meteorite steel. Kagmar was captured and locked in the cage, sat there over two centuries, driven to fury time after time, never able to escape. Thus I know the cage will withstand the fury to which we shall drive my humble being. Mm-hmm. <laughs> eh, hey, let's go. See no reason to dawdle. Tesham would now take me there. In a moment. Just one last thing. What was that? Uh, blood. Oh, the last favor the raven did me. I've also taken some sangurium, a solution that sharpens one's sense of smell. One drop of blood shall smell like a gallant to me now. You crazy? You're a recovering addict. <laughs> Your outrage warms my heart, Geralt. But you must remain calm. I have no choice. As things stand, the die is cast. <sighs> High time we set off for Tesh and Mutna. My head's spinning already, and you're... You're starting to smell quite tasty. And you're starting to scare me. We have arrived. The sacrificial chamber of torture and torment lies underground. Sure you want this? Sure you know what you're doing? I can only hope I do. Please, let's go. The longer we delay, the less control I shall have of my faculties. I'd really prefer not to hurt you. No, let me do it. You lead. Scurvers must be getting close to their feeding ground. Correct. I told you there'd be danger. Beyond this wall lies an ancient vampire dungeon. Seen a lot of things in my time. Nothing quite like this, though. My, I feel honored. A man with such a wealth of experience, yet I'm about to show him something new. Now, to open it. And vampire me. No. <laughs> ancient form of protection against unwanted guests. The mechanism which releases the latch reacts only to a higher velocity. I don't ask me if mechanisms it does, does allow. Hideout, fortified, secured. Must have been important to your species once, Toussaint. It shall always be so. During the conjunction, the gate from our world to the <laughs> open the door. Excuse me. This, this place, there's evil here. Death hangs in the air. Yes. A great many beings have breathed their last here. No, I think the thing about Yo. Symbols of uh, what you would call tribes dispersed throughout the world after the conjunction. My ancestors placed them here to 
binders. What's this symbol mean? Okay, he arrived. He wasn't controlled by my running. He got here before I did. Place. But what are all those cages for? Mentioned one vampire being kept here. Yes, well, you see, humanitarians is something my ancestors were not. They concluded Kagmar would best be punished if he were tormented with the scent of blood he could not taste. Thus, they also kept humans here. Humans whose blood they slowly let. Kagmar ranted and raged in pain as those... those humans slowly bled to death. They treated them like livestock. Live bait. I'd like to be able to turn back time. Deny it, but alas, I can do neither. Feel shame for my brethren. That is all I can do. Don't take it so hard. Nothing you could have done about it. Let's get to work. Well, that was awkward. Fine. I prepared the bait. Please be so kind and place it. Ideally at the tunnel uh -huh. entrances. The Zen will spread most effectively then. Place the bait at the tunnel entrances. Monsters will catch its scent more quickly. When I think how these tunnels got here. Send shivers. The place reeked of death and attractive necromancers. Ernest. Wait, what's the door in West End? Time to clear your hair. What do you want me to do? What are you asking of me? You go. Maybe you need a safe word. You know, something you'll say when you can't take it anymore. And what did you do once I uttered it? Don't know. Uh, calm me down. Somehow. Please. Mm -hmm. We just have smelled the blood. All sorts of things, alright. Oh. Ah. Alright, alright. Back off. Oh, are you? Excuse me. The fuck are you? You're new. Ow. Black. 
That's dumb. Okay. Oh. Good. Because I can hear more coming. How do you like that silver? I kind of think these are under leveled, because fuck. <laughs> hey, like, oh, uh, it's like it's filling up the goddamn health bar. Was that? Where are you? Ah. Oh, no. Hold on, I'll let you out. Please, God, fuck. A blood sample, don't we? Need to hang on a little longer. Blood will dry in a few hours. Scent won't bother you. Look, you need to chill out. Good read this. The concoction. What? What's the matter? Oi. Read this. Stay with me here. You can't finish it in this state. Tell me how. I'll help you. Any better? Far from ideal. And some time must pass before I fully recover. But yes, a bit better. Thank you. Okay. Never expected it to be like that. You didn't tell me. We need not discuss it. But we do. Because if I'd known you were going to subject yourself to torture... What would you have done? Found Detloff some other way. I did not wish you to use any other way. Did that occur to you? No, because I thought no being would ever willingly subject itself to that kind of pain. You vampires aren't any different from us in that regard. I told you, the pain is my way of paying my debt. The enormous debt I owe Detloff. If I had to do it again, I would in a heartbeat. Okay, finish your brew. Resonance, it's ready. Are you certain you followed the formula? The proportions are exact, the brewing time precise. This is important, Gallop. The slightest deviation could cost even a witcher dearly. Relax, got some experience brewing potions. Very well. In that case, let's begin. There's a chair right there. You could have sat in the chair. Oh wait, did we take the potion? Ugh. Jump the queue, sir. But come, sir, you must understand. I have a meeting. 
Sir, you were next. Please, take a seat. This gentleman was here first. Step down or you shall regret it. Ah, <laughs> fails to realize he was your friend, Count. Mm -hmm. It was then I ordered him to give up his seat and step off the stand. If only you'd seen his face. We got what him good, didn't we, Detlam? Then mother insisted we buy the mill. <laughs> Curious, eh? Mm -hmm. At least I've a yarn to spin for friends and associates. Forgive me. What? Why? Why? Uh, he cut off his own hand. It wasn't from a struggle. Alright, so why the fuck? At last, you ride like a squirrel caught in a snare. I'd begun to fear they were death throes, that you'd departed. <clears throat> uh, sure wasn't pleasant. Weren't. What did you see? Delacroix. His death did not come easy. Seems dead laugh had made friends with him, still killed him, chopped up his corpse, and he was overcome with fury. Remorse cut off the hand that had committed the murder. Hmm, interesting. And entirely unlike the Detlef I know. See anything else? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> so a moment, Delacroix did something selfless, was kind to Detlef. Guess it could have been the start of their friendship. Why the uncertainty? Nothing extraordinary about it. Normal, everyday situation, really. Visions were supposed to issue from strong emotions. Clearly, the situation provoked such emotions in Detlaf. Keep in mind, he did later murder Delacroix. Killing someone who's grown dear to us, it's bound to elicit strong emotion. Vampires are no different in that regard. Did you see anything else? Uh... There was something. Showed up twice in the vision. A boot black stand. Detlaf first met Delacroix there. Went back after the murder, actually. Peculiar. Stand was somewhere in the port district. And the boot black acted as if he knew Detlaf. Hmm. That would be even odder. Perhaps we should have a chat with the lad. Though I would expect no breakthroughs. It's our only lead. I'll go talk to him. Coming with. I shall join you later if it's no trouble. I don't yet feel strong enough to venture out. That's fair. Rest up. Be back as soon as I learn anything. <sighs> All right. No, don't think anything. 
I didn't have the full set, but... Did I pick up a mask? I got four. Oh yeah, I'm uh, appropriate level. How's this look? Looks grand. I don't have pants. Uh, uh, to replace stuff. Okay. Oh, uh. Uh, let me out. Hey, ah, this way. Okay. Cool. Um. Beyond. Can we go back to the city? Oh, the right place would have been fine. Honestly, why are, the, why are they all so close to go? What's the point? It's a bar. What's happening? So how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morning, so folks will dirty their boots, go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? A witcher. A witcher. And I'd advise you to go back where you came from. I thought witches defend men from monsters, not cheats from justice. Need to talk to the boy. You can chat to him all you like, after we tan his hide. So stand down. Not gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well, which is all the same to me. I'm the champion of... Uh, uh, Alright. Alright, cool. Bam. I called this whole tactic of spam. <laughs> <laughs> What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast <laughs> on the Duchess's <laughs> orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men. What are they doing? Harassing a boy. Obstructing my investigation. I understood. Right. A few days in the clink ought to teach them not to impede official Dutchy business. Come on. Boy. I have saved your skin. You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. How you mean? I do know you Yeah. How do you imagine that working? Splendidly. That's how. I 
suggest a partnership, where I see to the boots while you stand guard, and as you're the stronger, come morn you take the chamber pot out and help me make mud. Bit about the mud's true? They were right to want to box your ears. I've got to make a living somehow, so what say you, sir? Partners? Let me think about it. Anyway, yeah, that's a bad thing. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. Sure. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they just come off my stamp. A seat, sir, please. Yeah, sure. <laughs> What you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. An arrival? Hmm. Indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. What? Holy you gotta shit! Gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand, with a big sign. I want a new box, too. New polishes, new brushes. And, if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get waste water for free. Hmm. Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. <laughs> Alright, let's all right. negotiate. Let's see if we can't figure something out. <laughs> hey, huh. I have the money. No, I can go ahead. Yeah. See? I knew we'd clinch it. Guess I can agree to that. A thousand thanks. I shan't forget it. Now to the matter at hand. I know the fellow you seek. Though I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find uh -huh. him? No. But you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air does wonders for me. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I've the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, mm. you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort. And piles more coin. I'm prepared to give you this vial, if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art, true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red, but I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later. Handled that kid pretty well. Finding the right approach. Well done. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning the right thing to bribe them with. Run! Run, Regis, run! When the boot black mentioned. Hello. Uh oh. That's no good. Wait, that's a wrong. Gotta break it. The toy shop. 
You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum and holler, Detlaf, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Uh -huh. Give me a moment. No one saw you. Ever considered becoming a burglar? A skill like that would come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. Why is that horse rocking? Now, why is that horse rocking? Okay, I don't like the T posing. <laughs> Oh no. He here. Sends him. No, he's not here, but he was here recently. His scent is still strong. <laughs> Let's look okay. around. <laughs> Tea posing puppets. They frighten me. I can't go no further. Why is this moving? Please. All right, whatever. Old toy, no use to anyone. Shame, must have brought someone joy sometime. Attic, let's go. So this is his nest. Need to look around. Tools were used recently. Detloff unwind by fixing toys between murders. Really? How dark, must you? Nice tune. Indeed. I'm not certain why, but it reminds me of home. A true home from before the conjunction of spheres. Woman's likeness. Bit smudged. Is his lover? I don't rightly know. Reminds me of someone. Who? Not sure. Can't help feeling I've seen that face before, though. Oh. Oh, there's something. Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count Crespi, Count Duac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron. Count de Lacroix. Detloff's victims, one and all. But that's not his hand. All of it written using the same ink. See the color? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite. Rare mm -hmm. Pretty much found only in... Nazaire. But I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. The slits. With wine. Not much to go on, <gasps> especially not in Beauclair. It's the white part. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Still got Nemo, nothing, please. basically. Need to look around some more. Let's get to work. This letter. Dead love, van der Eretain. You do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renoid. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure, your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlaf killed not of his own accord. A blackmailer sunk his claws into him. Blackmailer, there we go. Yeah, it could be. Detlaf have any enemies? Indeed. Detlaf gains foes occasionally, but they never live long. One might have managed to evade him. Possible in theory, but I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlaf yourself, whoever it is, it is someone new. 
who's run away. His one-time lover, the sole human woman with whom he was very close, because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. Oh. Ever meet her? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him a time before he came around to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. What do you think happened? I take it you have your doubts. I know humans better than he does. Their capacity to be disloyal, dishonest. I also know she took a hand. Not something we associate with the kidnapped. Well. To disappear against their will. I'll save you the trouble of asking. No, I don't know why she left. I can, however, hazard a guess that Detlaf grew angry one day, showed another, more monstrous side. Detlaf's anger could frighten anyone off, though most who see it get no chance to flee. Detlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him. Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Detlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Sorry, my bad. Even if Renaud did abandon him that time, looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that, and hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her, get her back. He's prepared to kill. That's clear. As would you be for Yennefer. He kills for he cares for her deeply, and that blood. Those individuals. We broke up. Nothing. Read us. Yeah, I get it now. He's out to rescue a female from his pack. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Deadlaugh's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink, and not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Detlaf's innocence, clearly. I... I guess? Actually, it is. Detlaf's being manipulated. Some lunatics turned him into a tool, making him kill. So it would seem. But this illuminates a path of action for us. We must find Renowed. Render the blackmail senseless. The lunatic or ticks will thus lose hold on Detlaf. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detlaf? You gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Think he'll listen? He will. I'll await with you, maybe. No. He'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. Wait. Hey, man. Miss Duchess. Why is sacred? Uh, wait, god damn. Is there a faster way? Ugh. There is. What's up? Hi. Go. 
Geralt of Rivia, Master Witcher. <laughs> I was not mistaken. You arrived and trouble followed soon after. Step aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? Case is more serious than we thought. The beast? I couldn't kill it. Didn't manage. We sent you after a monster, and you return with nothing? We are very disappointed. Situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Ha! <laughs> Is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Or arm yourself with no. garlic and drive a stake through its heart. Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Those methods, pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Bakhtuan? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Bakhtuan drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! <laughs> your grace, I shall assemble a batu. Bring the matter to its end at once. He, he's the, the blackmailer. Where to find this monster? Look. Whoa, this is work for a witcher, not for your guardsmen. Yet when a witcher fails, my guardsmen must step in. I'll take my best. Forty hardened veterans. No vampire can stand up to that. Forty, fifty, a hundred? Doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guardsmen in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? What creature can do such things? Vampires. Creatures oh. like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different. Unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. Dead wrong. Thinking of lesser vampires. Alps, Ekimaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure. Attack anything that smells of blood. What? Higher vampires? Oh. They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What then do you intend to do? Uh... Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. Ah. Know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmail? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Higher vampires? They're like us. Motivated by emotions, not instinct. Okay, we're playing the whole situation good. Extreme. They're emotionally rich, capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human, and he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free, or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. I... Free the vampire's lover. You were too dis He'll have no more reason to kill. Scraps of paper. Idea how wrong you are, my dear. Here, there is no such thing.
est est ervelus. The ultimate white snob. Aged in barrels of Beauclair oak. Uh -huh. It's sim. Perhaps some song real was stolen. We must go to. To go with me? Out of the question. <laughs> 